Wait, what's that? Hold on, I can turn my light on. Oh shit. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Um, so this video, I've noticed a lot of people can contact me. A lot of people always contact me. Um Okay, before I get started, it doesn't matter. Hi, I'm Heather Vita, your Vita Diva. How's it going? I'm messing on my speech. I'm on Big Blooper, guys. You gotta understand that. So I handle dentures, healthcare, things I go through, vlogging, life. Life. Listen, everything has been going bad for just a month of May. Um, but if, I'm going to put that video out soon. So if you want to check it out, it's for member exclusives only. So if you want to be part of my membership, guys, when you, when you go to my channel for YouTube and you see subscribe and you're already subscribed, you'll see the word join. Click it. Um, and then you'll get all the exclusive of my personal life because I am an open book to my members. Um, and I keep it off my main YouTube page. But um, you can check it out. So I wanted to do this video of what to expect with dentures because so many people keep asking me this. And I know a lot of you guys are terrified. You guys got to understand it is normal. Don't think anybody's going to damn judge you, especially people in my YouTube world and my denture support group because they will be automatically kicked out. I don't take that shit. We all been through scary times with our dentures. We are all, all in different stages right now of what we go through. But, you know, we all have been terrified. Like, I still have days where I'm like, I'm feeling my denture, and then there's days I'm just like, thanks, universe. I'm glad you don't see me and you give me shit. Like, that's how I look at it. So everybody always asks me what to expect. All right, we'll start with impressions. This is what you can expect. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Allergies are really bad right now. Um, it's actually really, really bad. But what you expect for impressions is they take this moldy thingy. They put some liquid shit in it. They put it in your mouth. FYI, do not breathe out of your nose because that shit will go up your nose. Um, and I always tell people, I'm not a gagger. But the second time I did impressions for my permanent ones... He originally had me lean sort of forward, not back, which helped a lot. Um, and he told me to breathe out of my mouth, not my nose, because you're going to shit up your nose. Second time, he did not remind me for my permanent denture. And I breathed out of my nose, and I was blowing black shit out of my freaking face um, for like a hot freaking minute, for like a couple days. So it's really not that bad. Just don't put your head back, because that foamy stuff eventually gets harder, and it expands. And it will go by your throat. So if you just either be normal or go a little forward, you're golden. Like you're golden. Um, so that's what to expect with that. It's not doesn't taste crappy. Well, does it? I don't remember that part. I don't think it does. I know reliners taste like shit, but <laughs> I don't remember impressions. Now, people are gonna ask me what soft and hard reline is. Hard reline is the hard acrylic that you get done. Mm, if you're in your immediate denture, some people get it done at like nine months to a year, is when you do it. And that's like a reset on your denture. It fills in, it's all the hard acrylic that's your normal denture. Same material they use to fill in the space from all the looseness you have from gum shrinkage. Soft reliner is temporary. Um, it's like a soft, like I use DentureFit, which is a soft silicone reliner. There's no bad taste. There's no bad anything. It is easy. Gold suction. It's silicone. So it suctions like, you know those suction things to a window? It's like that's your face. So if you're interested in DentureFit, if they're not on sale right now, you can use the code SAVE10. No, I do not get paid. I do not work with them. Um, but you can use the code SAVE10 to get, I believe, $10 off of your purchase, but if it's on sale, the code don't work. Um, reline it is a cheap version of a soft reliner. It's like five bucks, you get two kits, which when you're in your immediate stage, you're gonna need both those kits. I'm not gonna front with you. Um, but for five bucks, you can't go wrong. But I'm gonna be real with you, it tastes like a damn nail salon. Like you just drank acetone. There's a trick to that. When you're done setting up your soft reline, it's already done, it's already good, you're ready to go. Take warm water, put a teaspoon of baking soda in it, put drop your denture in there, let it sit for about 45 minutes, it'll take the taste right out. Thank God for tricks. Got to know your tricks, guys. I'm just saying. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Sorry. how to answer a phone call. Doctors, things happen. Okay. So, soft relines, you know, there's cheaper ones and there's not cheaper ones. You know, reline it is very hard to get off. I don't know if you guys ever saw that video I did. <laughs> it took me two days. Two days using tweezers, hot water, and all that. Try to pull it up and try to get it out. Reline it is not great for suction, but it is great to fill in the gaps and so you still use adhesive. Um, but there's dent dentists use soft relines too and hard relines. Let the dentist do the hard reline. Soft relines, I have not, okay, maybe two people, maybe three. I've ever heard a successful soft reline done by a dentist. The whole thing is, is how I truly believe is we know our own mouth. They just put it in and hold it. 
they don't put it in our stuck zone. You know how like you take your thumb, you push it forward and you lock it into place and it goes right there. They don't do that. That's why people get home and they're like, why does my thing all jacked up? So, I mean, if you guys ever have any questions going through your journey, hit me up. All my stuff is in my description below. That's all you need to do. The description is the arrow next to the title of the video and you're going to get all my information. Even my PO box, if you want to send me something, you want to be a pen pal, you want to do whatever, that's... And if you get anything from me, that'll be my PO box um, that you'll get it from. Um, oh, and thank you to people who do send me stuff. I think it's very sweet. I love getting letters from people. Um, I save them. And all the Christmas cards that I did last year for my denture homies and all the Christmas cards I got back. That, I love that shit. I save it. It's in my filing cabinet. And every year I do a new wall. And that wall over there that you guys have seen in my other videos, my people that normally watch me, did a whole freaking wall based on my subscribers. Um, so I love you guys. But the whole thing is, is I'm, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think all the negativity that you see online from people bitching and complaining about how dentures are horrible, don't listen to that shit. Because I used to feel the same way when I first got damn dentures and I let it get the best of me because I listened to other damn people. But it wasn't like that. I made my quality of life better. If I didn't get best security, okay, great. I tried a different adhesive. You know how I knew about the 40 minute, five minutes of drawing time? Because I learned myself. Nobody tells you that. Not even an adhesive freaking bottle tells you that. Um, that's why everybody's like, oh, Heather, thank you for telling me because we didn't know that. It's a glue. It needs to dry. And I didn't know that when I first started. And I was like, why isn't my denture freaking staying in? So I waited about 45 minutes to an hour before I ate or drank. And that shit was cement. Fix It and Ultramax is incredible. And I alternate Dr. B's adhesive. His shit's amazing, too. If I can eat corn on the cob with it, you're amazing. <laughs> Dead ass. But Dr. B's and Fix It Ultramax, I alternate because I'm a firm believer that your body gets used to something and it doesn't work as much. How do I know that? Because I've done it myself and I was like, why isn't Fix It Ultramax work so well? So it's switched to a different one and that one worked great. That started losing it, so I went back to Fix It Ultramax and it worked better again. So I think your body just gets used to it. I'm going to be real with you. I do know, I'm going to tell you people right now, first of all, wear your damn denture. I don't care how freaking damn defeated you feel. I don't care. I don't care. You need to wear them because it's going to make your life a living damn hell if you don't. I get if you're sick and you're coughing, you don't want your freaking denture to freaking go ploppy, but you need to absolutely do this, guys. Please. Please just keep your denture in your mouth, guys. Please. Um, I know way too many people that end up having more problems. You will not get used to your denture until you actually wear it all the time. Make sure you keep it out at nighttime. I've learned this, that if I wear them overnight, right? Because my boyfriend hasn't seen me without them, only through, you know, YouTube. Um, it's me. It has nothing to do with him. Um, that's a whole other conversation. I don't know if you guys saw that video. But when I took mine out, at the next morning, my gums felt more full. So when I had my denture and it was tighter, it wasn't loose like at nighttime. Like if I were to not use adhesive. So I thought that was pretty cool. But you should let your gums breathe because it prevents infections and, you know, like thrush, stuff like that. Dr. B's um, liquid crystals is the only thing on the damn market that kills as much bacteria as it does. I am going to be doing separate videos to tell you guys and explain to you guys their products. I don't get paid to do this. But there's so many people that ask me about their products. So I'm just going to do videos and explain each one of them to you guys. Um, so you have the information. But it's literally the only thing on the market that kills as much as it does. Besides the Denture Clean that they came out with. Denture Fit came out with Denture Clean. And um, they kill some bacteria and shit like that. But they don't kill as much as Dr. B's Liquid Crystals. So honestly, those two would be the best ones to do. But I would definitely pick Dr. B's Liquid Crystals. Because you get this big ass bottle that lasts you forever. And it cleans beautifully. Um... But you guys, I always tell people this process is, is more mental. And I'm going to be real with you. It is more mental. You have to be one strong ass person to get through this mentally because it can definitely break you. Everybody's scared in the beginning. Everybody is. And as you get used to it, it becomes easier. So when people say, oh, they can't eat, that is bullshit. Because if I use fixing on Ultramax, I can eat steak, corn on the cob. That shit don't come out until I force that bitch to come out. So if you want to try something, fix it in Ultramax. Use my Q-tip trick. For all you people that know my Q-tip trick, got to do that. And um, make sure you let it dry once it's in your mouth for 45 minutes before you eat or drink. And that's with any adhesive. But, but you guys got to understand, sorry, my thing cut out, um, that brain fart because my camera's dying on me. Um, you need to take one day at a time.
you need to. And with talking, if you talk, you know, read a book, 20 minutes a day for two, twice a day or even once a day, your speech will come back quick. Mine did within a week. My speech was golden. Um, eating wise, find what works for you. Don't let this defeat you. You can do this. Shit, if I can do this, you guys can freaking do this. There's no reason to listen to negativity and shitty ass people that want to bring everybody else down and scare them. There is no reason for it. I built this support system so you guys have somebody to never be afraid to message me. I will help out as much as I can and with whatever I can do. Um, and try to guide you guys through the process. I've even helped and talked to people on how to do soft reliners. So don't think you're alone in this process. I started YouTube so nobody's freaking alone ever again in this process. I was, and it was hard as hell. So there's no way in hell I'm going to let you guys fail. And there's no way in hell I'm going to let you do this alone. So if you ever need me, just contact me. My information is in the description below. But I just wanted to give you guys a brief summary of what to look for, like especially for the first month. Uh, the first week after getting extractions, please rinse with salt, warm water about four to five times a day. Take your denture out, then rinse with salt, warm water. Let people ask me that. Um, and make sure you clean your denture. You will get something called biofilm, which your mouth will taste and smell bad, and it'll be slimy. That's the bacteria. That's everything trying to push itself out to try to heal you. It's the healing process. But make sure you rinse with salt, warm water as best as you can without your denture in. Clean your denture, then pop those suckers back in your mouth. Do not use Benzodent. There is a big FDA warning on it that it causes, um, I think it's too much oxygen in your blood or something like that. I don't know. It can kill you either way. And it's actually quite common. So please do not use Benzodent. Use Curoxin. There's mouth sore wash. There's so much you can do. There is no reason to be using something that can hurt you. And I use it not knowing this. So when I started looking it up, because I started to get weird shit wrong with me, I saw what it said and I was like, garbage? Like, no. So I will not promote Benzodent on my channel because it's dangerous. And we go through enough shit, so we don't need any more, you know? Um, but look out for more giveaways. I'm going to be sending out my giveaways soon. Listen, guys, I've had a broken foot. I've had a freaking people rob. Pe I got robbed. You know, me, of all people. Mm. Um, I've had a lot of messed up shit happen lately, and I'm just working through it. And I just think this is one of the worst months I've ever had in a long time. But take it one day at a time. My birthday's coming up in about three to four weeks. June 23rd. And I almost died. Sorry, guys. Everything keeps cutting out on me. But not going to nothing happens on my birthday. Um, if you guys want to know my personal shit and you want to know all that stuff, check out my member spot. Um, and that's where my videos go. But if you guys ever need help, description below. I am there on every social media except for Twitter because I don't like Twitter. But you can find me on my dentist support group. Message me. Email me. You can find me anywhere. I'm always here. But I love you guys. And hang in there. This is just the start of your new chapter for your new smile and new confidence. I'm just here to help you with your quality of life. Have a great day, guys. I love you. God bless. Stay safe. Later.